Chawla. Kalpana Chawla was born in Karnal, a small town in Punjab, and she was really lucky to be born there. For Karnal was one of the few towns in India which had a flying club. She and her brother Sanjay used to follow the small, slow-moving pushpak airplanes on their bicycles just to figure out where these airplanes were headed. Very often, both of them used to fall and hurt themselves because they were looking up at the planes instead of the road while cycling. They would often pester their dad to take them flying and finally one day he relented. Both the children took turns riding in the pushpak as well as a glider that the flying club had. I think that's really my closest link to aerospace engineering that I can dig deep down and find out out there. She said in one of her interviews. When she was 11, her imagination was further ignited by the glamorous photographs of the Viking lander's Mars mission in the Illustrated Weekly of India. Her father knew J.R.D. Tata, a pioneering Indian pilot and industrialist, quite well. He was also partly instrumental in inculcating her interest in flying. In another interview, she said, Also growing up, we knew of this person, J.R.D. Tata, who had done some of the first mail flights in India, and also the airplane that he flew for the mail flights now hangs in one of the aerodromes out there that I had a chance to see. Seeing this airplane and just knowing what this person had done during those years was very intriguing and definitely captivated my imagination. The combination of these experiences fueled her desire to become an airplane engineer when she was just a child. At that time, the education system in India was such that one had to decide during class 8 itself what stream one wanted to take. So she chose to study physics, chemistry and mathematics because, as she rightly said, I am going to do aerospace engineering. Kalpana passed out from Tagore school Karnal in 1976. She obtained her aeronautical engineering degree from Punjab Engineering College in Chandigarh in 1982. In her first year in college, whenever anyone asked her what she wanted to do, she'd say, I want to be a flight engineer. But I am quite sure at that time, I didn't really have a good idea of what a flight engineer did because flight engineers do not do aircraft design, which was an area I wanted to pursue and did pursue in my career. And it's a sort of nice coincidence that that's what I am doing on this flight, she said just before boarding Columbia in January 2003. Soon after passing out from Punjab Engineering College, she moved to the United States to obtain a Master of Science degree in Aerospace Engineering. She was successfully awarded the degree by the University of Texas in 1984. She got her second Master of Science degree in Mechanical Engineering two years later, in 1986. Finally, she did her PhD in Aerospace Engineering in 1988 from the University of Colorado. Later that year, she took up a job at NASA Ames Research Center. Kalpana held a certificated flight instructor's license for airplanes and gliders, as well as commercial pilot's licenses for single and multi-engine airplanes, seaplanes and gliders. Soon after reaching the US, Kalpana married John Pierre Harrison in 1983 and was granted a US citizenship 
in 1990. She traveled to India in the winter of 1991 with her husband and spent time with her family in Karnal. That was the last time she set foot in India. After she became an astronaut, she hardly had time for anything else. In 1993, she joined Overset Methods INC California as vice president and research scientist. Here, she led a team of researchers who were responsible for developing and implementing efficient techniques to perform aerodynamic optimization. In March 1995, Kalpana Chawla joined the NASA Astronaut Corps and got selected for her first flight in 1996. After undergoing rigorous training, she went on her first space mission in November 1997. She was a part of the six-member crew that flew the space shuttle Columbia Flight STS-87. She was assigned the duty of a mission specialist and prime robotic arm operator. The purpose of STS-87 was to focus on experiments designed to study how the weightless environment of space affected various physical processes, as well as to observe the sun's outer atmospheric layers. In her first mission, Kalpana Chawla traveled over 6.5 million miles in 252 orbits of the Earth, logging 376 hours and 34 minutes in space. An hour and a half to travel around the Earth once. My goodness, how small this planet really is, said Kalpana Chawla, recalling her emotions during her flight into space. Kalpana was the first Indian-born woman and the second person of Indian origin to fly in space. Rakesh Sharma had flown in a Soviet aircraft in 1984. While Rakesh Sharma represented India, Kalpana Chawla represented the US being a US citizen. They both had never met. In 2000, she was selected for her second flight as part of the seven-member crew of STS-107. This mission seemed to be jinxed right from the beginning. There were repeated delays caused due to scheduling conflicts and technical faults. On January 16th, 2003, Kalpana Chawla finally returned to space aboard the ill-fated Space Shuttle Columbia on mission STS-107. As millions waited with bated breath for the Space Shuttle Columbia's return, it just disintegrated while re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. It was watched by aghast people all over the world. Kalpana Chawla died a heroic death. Her brother Sanjay Chawla remarked, To me, my sister is not dead. She is immortal. Isn't that what a star is? She is a permanent star in the sky. She will always be up there where she belongs. Kalpana Chawla has been posthumously awarded the NASA Space Flight Medal, the NASA Distinguished Service Medal, The Defense Distinguished Service Medal, that is DDSM, the Congressional Space Medal of Honor. On 5th February 2003, our Prime Minister at that time, Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee, announced that all our meteorological satellites, METSAT, will now be renamed Kalpana. The first satellite of the series, METSAT-1, launched on September 12, 2002 by India is now called Kalpana 1.